go. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Super DSM Plays Minecraft. Well, we're here. Oh, good grief. <laughs> We've seemed to have put, gotten our nether portal put on a less than preferable area. Let's go and uh, guard it up. It's always a good thing to bring flint steel too. You go to nether because you really don't want your nether portal getting uh, unlit. Especially when it's your only one. So let's quickly build a little shelter here. Oops. Oh, no, I guess I'll do it. So here we are. Ah, there we go. That was quick. <clears throat> Nether of course, and this means that we can start making those automated farms I wanted to make. Oh, I was digging straight down, and then I heard that pickaxe and breaking noise, and that scared me for some reason. <clears throat> oh yeah, this stuff is common. It's also really dark here. Maybe I should turn my brightness up or something. There's also the fact there are no torches here. Although, to be honest, it's not really worth it to place torches, is it? And maybe it is. It helps to be able to see a little better. This place has got like a almost void fogginess to it. You know, I was kind of expecting there'd be a whole bunch of gas everywhere, like shooting at me the moment I got in, but uh, I like this. It's nice and a little calm. Thomas. Some nice nether quartz here to gather up, full of experience. Now, of course, to die right now would be a pretty horrible thing because I'm carrying my diamond pickaxe and my iron armor and all this other stuff. And also because I'm at level 34, which means that once we start, which means that I'll be able to get some high level enchants once we start enchanting. Well, assuming I have the books themselves, of course. Oh no, it's happening. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Where is it? I can't even see it. You know... I really want to find another fortress, but uh... I wish I had fire resistance potions first, but I guess the thing is that you can't really go to the- You can't be safe in the nether without fire resistance potions, but um, you can't get fire resistance potions without going to the nether and going to a nether fortress and collecting nether warts first. And even then, what do you need for a fire resistance potion, isn't it? Like, uh, that, uh, what is it? I forget. I'll basically grab some of this soul sand while I'm at it. So that once I do have another works, it'll be, it'll be a lot easier to uh, uh, start farming them since I already have a good supply of soul sand. Hmm. Uh, mushrooms. You know, it's kind of interesting, the nether. It's sort of like 
uh, the the opposite of the overworld, and that it's an endless cave with no roof. Hmm. Well, one thing for sure, I don't have any lava troubles anymore. I think there's supposed to be a lighting update. There we go. So much nether quartz. I was like gonna be a little worried about getting getting all this, but um, it seems to be pretty common. A lot more common than I thought it was. I mean, they say it's as common as iron in the overworld. It's, the only thing is that the entire nether is a cave anyways. Made entirely out of the um, block in which nether quartz will generate in. So... Yeah, it's pretty common. Don't see any nether fortresses yet, and I think it's probably very likely that I'm going to be getting lost pretty quickly. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have thought that guy was, like, chasing me or something. I, I'm, I'm not gonna be attacking the zombie pigmen, because I can't afford to have a horde of them attacking me. Oh dear. There goes my iron pickaxe. Start using the diamond one. But only f uh, for a short amount of time. I really don't want to use this diamond pickaxe up much. I want to hold on to it for a long time. I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna keep it for a long time. I'm gonna put it in a little, my little museum or something. Uh... Already, I'm already like half lost. I'm not really sure where I came from. How much net your quartz? Eh, I'll get two more. Just so I can have a full stack. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Perfect. A full stack of nether quartz. You know, of all the places to have quartz. I wonder why they chose the nether. Maybe it was because the nether didn't have any like big resource in it other I mean, you know, mineable resource aside from glowstone. Is like is like quartz formed from like heat or something? I'm not entirely certain on the reason why they chose it. I mean, I like it, but um, yeah. Also, I wonder if they're ever gonna add more stuff to the Nether. You know, like some big changes, like how the end 1.9 is getting all the end islands and stuff. Maybe they could have more than just the Nether fortresses. Oh, add something new. Maybe like Nether flowers or something. I don't know, I've seen things in like Minecraft modded I think would be some if tweaked a bit could be really cool full additions to vanilla Minecraft. And right. I think I've collected enough stuff in the nether. Oh, who, who am I kidding? I just I I completely forgot about getting lava. Which might be um easier said than done depending on how close the uh Yeah, what am I trying to say? Lava pools are. That might be just one in just one lava bucket. All right there. Mm. Oh, there's the there's the lake. Of course, just watch. Something's gonna attack me and hit and send me straight into uh, the lava pool, and I'm gonna die. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll be lost. I'll, I, I might be lucky. I mean, the only really hostile thing out here is gas. I don't see any. Yet. Oh. It's, it's deeper than I thought. Well, that's a bit... Makes things a little bit more complex. It is hard to see in here. <gasps> no! I... <sighs> Why? <gasps> Why? Let's see, what am I losing? Diamond pickaxe. That's a pretty big loss. Um... Lava buckets, flint and steel. You know... 
this. I I should know better than this. I I cannot believe I I I, I let this happen. I should have just returned. What was I thinking? Why did I bring my d diamond pickaxe in here? Okay. Something every Minecraft player should know. Never, ever, ever bring diamond tools into the nether. You don't need them. <laughs> and... I mean, netherrack is so easily mined. You can just use an enchanted iron one. To insta-mine it. Or maybe an enchanted stone one. Well... I just, I, I'm trying to think of some crazy way I haven't thought of to save myself, but to be honest, at one and a half hearts, I'm on fire in the middle of lava with no land I could go on to. There's literally no way out of this other than to cheat, and obviously I'm not going to be cheating. So, yeah. Goodbye, diamond pickaxe. <laughs> and goodbye, my... First set of armor, except for the helmet, which I saved. Or is it my first set of armor? Oh well. And, um, yeah. That, I, I don't even have a backup I could revert to to, like, re erase all my progress. I mean, it would be before the past two episodes, so... Yep. Goodbye. Super genius app, right? Swim in lava. I am now completely empty. What did I leave my... I lost the maps too. I, I feel a little depressed now. I like... I made the, one of the stupidest decisions ever. I've lost 34 levels and, um, as well as a whole bunch of nether quartz. It was going all so well, and then that happened. Well, I get, I have a, at least I have this now. That, that's, was it worth it? I guess. <laughs> Maybe. I have access to the nether now. At least I have plenty of these chickens. Oh boy. Well, let's try and get re-equipped. Look, I didn't lose all of my maps. I still have four of this of this nearby area. So let's see, what have I left myself? Two diamonds, not enough for a diamond, new diamond pickaxe, but enough for a hoe. Who am I kidding? Why would I make a diamond hoe? Enough for a sword, I guess. Still plenty of redstone and stuff. Actually, did I? I was carrying all my iron on me, wasn't I? Wasn't I? No! <laughs> the little smile on my, on my little minifigure face is like... <laughs> nothing like what I really feel like right now. I feel frustrated and somewhat depressed. Um, what am I looking for? Cobblestone. And uh, wood. It's a good thing I have these resources, though. I can start up again fairly uh, easily. Okay, from now on, I am never bringing my valuables of any kind into the nether unless absolutely 100,000% necessary. In fact, I might just have a set of gear just for the nether from now on. So I won't feel too bad about losing it. Just do this. Oh, I, I need more. Come on. Okay. Need more wood. Well. Yeah, that was an unexpected event. It probably shouldn't have been unexpected. I, I was saying, like, I was joking, like, oh, I'm gonna die. But I, I thought I would be safe enough. But I was wrong. I did die, after all. 
So, yeah, there goes 34 levels, and um, my longest record on this show for not dying. Now I need to beat it. How long was that, anyway? Is this... No, it doesn't show what day it is. Alright, okay. <sighs> I'm not really sure what to do now. I mean, I'm so I'm I'm not really starting up from the ground up again because I have like my tools and everything. Well, I mean, I have these weak, cheap little tools, but um. I've lost all the imp like the really important stuff. I have no iron armor. I'm harmless. I mean, my food situation is, is the same as it was, so I'm not really worried about that. I haven't really lost any redstone. I've got a house, and um, I mean, it could have been worse. Uh, like I could have been carrying all my redstone and uh, literally everything on me. Have been carrying all the maps. Of course, now we have a bit of a problem in that I need to go and find some, a lot of iron. Like just as I had gotten so much iron from that crazy trip in ravine, I lose it all. So I need a heavy amount of iron again. So that's the plan, I guess. Get more iron. I'm still like a little tense from, from that death. I mean, when I saw myself falling, I was like, oh. I was. <laughs> uh, There's nothing I could do to stop that once it started. Oh well. Um. Well, we have an enter portal now, so that's that's progress. And uh, well, I need to go doing a lot of mining. Still need to get that other cow. And you know what? You know what? That's it. That's it. I'm going to Nether. I'm I came there to get something, and I'm going to get at least. At least some nether quartz to bring back. I am not just going to to go into the nether, lose all my stuff, and not get something out of it. Okay. And this time, if I die, what am I losing? A couple stack of cobblestone or something. They got no levels. So yeah, I'm okay with dying this time. This music. Um, I'm not really sure of it doesn't really fit the occasion. <laughs> well, maybe it does. It's kind of cheering. Where's that pit I fell into? Where was it? This is what I get for like underestimating the nether. Like think, oh, this is calm and nice and stuff, and I die. <laughs> oh well, it's just a game. I can start over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Was I carrying my gold on me too? I think I was. Oh well. There's plenty of other caves in this world. So yeah, I think I'm going to be updating to Void 7 really soon. Possibly next episode because... Yeah, I mean, there's, I've already found out my continent is way too large to just try and explore all of it before updating 
and I already traveled so far away. I wouldn't see rifts until I rent until I've been building a really long time, and I start venturing out really far. So yeah, not too worried anymore. It's about update 1.7 and riding up with terrain rifts. I think uh, after a couple of things I need to do in 1.7 before updating. 2.8, like, get the most out of that obsidian generator, because it's useful, and the, such. Then I will update 2.8. Maybe I'll just skip 1.9 even, because, um, yeah, is there really anything that you can't, well, yes, there, I think there is, getting up to the top of the nether. That's a project that we need to get done before 1.9 Because it becomes really difficult to get to the top of the nether Because you won't be able to spam click ender pearls So yeah, I want to get that done Just so I can get some nether ceiling um, farms and stuff Oh, is there like a safe path to lava right here that I... Eh, oh well I'll come back here later once I have some buckets. So yeah, I think I'll head back and I'll be the end of the episode. This hasn't exactly been the uh, most happiest episode. I mean, it was very fitting for the nether. Full of... You know what? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Turn the sender! Blah! Is that all you have? Is that all you, you got? No, yes. you're lousy at aiming. Actually, that's probably a good thing. I wouldn't want them to be good at aiming because, um, yeah. Or maybe they are good at aiming. I'm just quick. Stuff. Wh where'd it go? Missed. Ugh. Keep missing me. Please don't get angry at me if C hits you, zombie pigment. I really can't afford to have angry zombie pigment. I don't think they'll get angry if the gas hits them. Unless I use, unless I use the fireball the sword and then it hits them. That would be disastrous. Come on, I just wanna kill the fireball. Just so I can do it. Yes. Oh, you're dodging it. Turn to center. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Goodbye. Yep, this is this is definitely super genius that plays Minecraft. Half a heart. It's nighttime. Monster is at my door, probably. Yep. <laughs> you know, this is becoming like a thing. Like, this is how the episodes are always supposed to end. With... With me... In these sort of, like, horrible situations like this, where... I'm in a tight spot. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> this has been Super Genius that plays Minecraft. And, uh, I'll see you again next time. When we'll be doing some, um... Mining, maybe? Trying to re recover all the uh, resources we've lost and yeah i'll see you again next time goodbye <laughs>